Hello and welcome to Emma's ESL English. So today we're going to look at some of the card terms, uh, card game terms that we uh, read in this book. I mentioned yesterday the term card sharpers. That's kind of important and relevant to this point in the book because these three men are card sharpers. These three men are specifically on this boat playing in this saloon so that they can cheat at cards and uh, take money from the people on the boat. They've already done that with Nanny Og, Granny Weatherwax's friend, and now Granny is going to turn the tables on them. She is going to become the card shark and cheat them at their own game. That's a lot of idioms. <laughs> um, there's also a point where they talk about being shaken down. So if somebody is shaken down, it means that we want their money. It's that idea that you turn someone upside down and shake them so all their money falls down. Shaken down. <laughs> But in this case, we're not turning anybody upside down. Granny is just playing them at their own game and she is going to win all of their money. They don't just lose this game. They epically lose this game in a big way. So yeah, Granny's going to shake them down. Uh, they talk about beginner's luck. This is a really common phrase. Doesn't just apply to gambling or card games. Anytime you start a new skill or try to do something for the first time, if you're really good at it the first time that you do it, we say that you have beginner's luck. They tell her that they want to have a sporting chance. We use this word sporting to talk about um, kind of good gamesmanship being a good player, meaning being a nice and fair player. So they want a sporting chance. They want a fair chance to win. Of course, this is not the truth. They are already cheating. They already have an intention to cheat. So they are not playing a sporting game already. They're not giving granny a sporting chance of winning. So it's a bit much to ask for one in return. <laughs> Uh, cool. So into different words that we use regarding cards, stake. If you're playing a game of cards, depending on which game, if you want to um, stake something, you're going to put some money in. You're going to gamble some money and you might raise the stakes, which means you're going to put more money into the pot. Dealing, of course, is when you shuffle the cards. I don't have any cards, so I can't show you. <laughs> You shuffle the cards and then you deal the cards. The guy has a sleeve device. So up his sleeve here, you might have seen it on the movie sometimes. Um, he has he can keep secretly keep cards in here and use them when he wants to. And Granny breaks it. <laughs> so he's that's it. The sleeve device is gone. And Granny, the way Granny plays is described as holding her cards very close to her face. And um, just the merest fraction showing, so just the tiny part at the top of the card is showing and protruding just means a little bit here. So we can only see little duke, 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 and everything else is hidden behind her hands. Um, the ways the men are cheating, they are dealing off the bottom of the pack, which means you're getting different cards. That's a, um, a way of cheating. And they have also marked the cards. We can say they're playing with a marked pack. That means that they have literally put marks on the cards so they know when they see the back of the card, they know this is an ace or whatever they're looking for. Um, the man says he thought he'd worked out her play. So her play is her, her strategy. What is she doing? How is she going to do it? How is she planning on winning? So he thinks he's figured out what her strategy is and what she's doing. So he called her out. He said to her, okay, show us your cards. If you call someone out, you'd say, I know what you're doing. Show us what you're doing. Um, he talks about having run a decent flush into the maw um, of her uh, five card onion. So a flush is when you have uh, a group of cards from the same um, family, basically. Um, 
Then we talk about different tells. So granny has some very specific tells that are actually lies. <laughs> She's pretending that she has a tell. She hums, she cleans her ear. And the man talks about teeth tappers, or this, uh, eyebrow razors and ear rubbers. So people, when they're stressed out, they start to do something, maybe they scratch an eyebrow or maybe they, you know, shake something or whatever, or they maybe hum. And this tells the people they're playing with, uh-oh, that person's feeling nervous, they're about to lose or about to win or they're excited about something. We can understand their behavior from their tells, which all goes downhill because later Mr. Frank drummed his fingers on the table and realized to his horror that he was doing it and bought three new cards to cover his confusion. So he's getting so stressed out that he develops his own tell. And then he's like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm showing them how nervous I am, disaster. So he tries to hide it. Granny's described as being $12 a head. So that means she's winning by $12. And then just down by one dollar. So that means she lost one dollar. And then she folded. So uh, this is similar to the game of poker where you can gamble, 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 and then pull out, uh, say, okay, that's it. I'm not playing anymore. Um, it's because you're going to lose. At that point, you're going to lose everything. So you can fold and get out of the game and keep other people can keep playing on the game. So that's what she does. Uh, and he says later when he's got this really good hand, a great onion, he says, what are the odds of getting another hand like this? So when we say, what are the odds? The odds are, um, what are the chances of getting this so well? We often talk about odds in betting games. If you're betting on the horses or, um, some other betting game, you're taking odds. You're saying, I think this is going to happen. I think this is going to happen. So when we say, what are the, that's an actual idiom. What are the odds this is going to happen? We mean, what are the chances? Um, in this case, it's not good for him. <laughs> and granny asked, what is raising? So um, the other two men have folded. They've left the game. And now Mr. Frank and granny are betting each other more and more. So she raises him. It means that She's already put this money in. She's going to put a bit more money in if she raises him. And I'll see you means I'm going to match what you see. I see you and I'll raise you, which means I will put the same money in as you. And I will also put some more money in. Um, and he thinks he's won. So he pulls the pot towards him. The pot is not actually a pot. The pot is the pile of money in the middle of the table that has been bet in this game. So he pulls the pot towards him. He's He thinks he's going to win all of this money, but no, no, no. And then he says, hang on a second. I haven't put my cards down. And he's like, you can't win. My cards are fantastic. But <clears throat> Nanny has a nine card run, which means she has every card from that family of cards. She has them all. So she has a perfect run. She cripples Mr. Onion. Um, yeah, a lot happened. <laughs> it was a very busy game. I hope that's useful. I don't really gamble. I don't really play cards. So, um, I'm definitely not the best person to advise you on this. <laughs> I would suggest if you want to gamble in English, go do some more research. <laughs> but hopefully this gives you a better idea of what was happening during the game. All right. I'll see you next week. Bye.